Hey everyone, this is your host Jasleen Kanuja welcoming you to Tycon 2019, the world's largest entrepreneurial conference. Meet some of the smart entrepreneurs, some of the big shots in the industry, especially in the tech area. Since we are right here in Silicon Valley, bringing unto you the best of the best and the latest and the greatest on the technology side. Stay tuned in on Your India TV. How has Marketo been instrumental in engaging customers for Adobe? Well, Marketo is a key part of Adobe's overall experience cloud. We are focused on connecting businesses with businesses or building out the B2B strategy for Adobe. So, what's next? <laughs> well, what's next for Adobe is continuing to drive the experience cloud, the document cloud, the creative cloud. And really, as we I, I talked about today here at this great conference in Tycon, is changing the world through experience. Any message to the viewers? Well, if you haven't been to this conference, this is stunning. Like, this is amazing. Tycon has incredible energy. But overall, I mean, this is an, just an amazing place to connect with people. And as I talked about today, really engage. Thank you so much. Tycon, yeah, it's Thank really you. a pleasure to see you. And how's the Tycon experience this year? You know, it's great every year. Um, I've been here when it was very, very young, and I've seen it mature about 10 years ago. I'm coming after 10 years, and I think the one common thread through it is the, you know, they really drive entrepreneurship, and it's the largest conference and it's the best conference. Awesome. So, how did you get to all the transformations that you made? Transformation is a way of life. You have to do that. You can yeah, change is the one constant. So, you keep questioning yourself and keep changing. Now, in India, we actually have a hoary tradition of innovation. We are the land, of course, that invented the zero, making the decimal system possible. So, innovation, one could argue, is indeed in the Indian tradition, and. Um, and yet, when we speak of innovation today in India, we really relate it to all of you. It's the, um, the uh, remarkable and proven record of Indians in globally recognized innovation hubs, such as Silicon Valley, and particularly Silicon Valley, which has seen, um, I think, innovators in India being inspired. I read uh, an interesting statistic recently. There are so many different numbers floating around. This might be a, a, a wrong as well, but it said 13 0.4% of all the startups that originated in the valley between the early 80s and the early 2000s were founded by Indians, uh, many of which of course have gone on to become household names across the world, and that 40% of all Silicon Valley companies today have Indians amongst their founders or in their leadership. So this is Jasleen from Your India TV and it's really an honor to see you. So video conferencing by Zoom is really on the top these days and we also hear a lot about the encryption that you guys do and also that you are supporting Skype. So give us some insights into that. You know, of course, when we build a solution, we look at everything from a customer perspective. We cannot over the night let everybody switch to Zoom platform, right? They might be using some other solutions. That's why we have an open platform. We do integrate very well with any other solutions. If customer still want to use a Skype, that's okay. We can interpret very well because we look at everything from customer perspective. Customer that might be using the Polycom hardware or we do at any point, we also can interpret very well. So that's our you know value proposition. Yeah. Has it ever happened that the decryption at the other end has failed? Oh, I, I don't think so because uh, because the uh, technology protocol is open and I think it's uh, you know all other solutions. You know, Zoom included. We we treated, uh, uh, we you know, uh, look at the security very very seriously, and as long as you know the works, and we guarantee the quality. Make sure the, the security wise, is, is, it works so well. Yeah. So I congratulate you again on a very low cost model that you have presented and made it so popular. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate.
greed has to go away. Right? So you cannot, if you have a product which is on patents for years and years, you should not use the all the legal ways to keep protecting it. You have to let the genetics and other biosimilars product come in to make it affordable. And then as far as opioid is concerned, it's a, it's the entire nation's fault. And in my mind, it started with, first of all, companies, uh, the pain is a real issue. And it's not the pain is uh, for the dental pain or uh, minor pain. I'm talking about when you have cancer. It's unbearable pain and opioids do work, but it should have been approved just for that usage and it should, pharmaceutical companies should have never promoted for any other usage. We have Manish Vyas right here with us and he is heading the telecom and media business in the Tech Mahindra. Welcome sir to Thank your you India so TV much. with me Jasleen and how's the Tycon experience this year? Oh fantastic, uh, absolutely fantastic. I mean the spirit of entrepreneurship particularly with the theme of uh, scale is something which is exceedingly important to us. Uh, in, in my keynote earlier I spoke about uh, what are the four elements uh, from our vantage point as a large company that come together to drive innovation at scale. So for us it's been extremely relevant. And you started with Khudi Ko Kar Buland itna ki khuda bande se puche ki teri raza kya hai. So I believe when you took over Satyam, you made some drastic changes to keep up the image, you know. Aapne Khudi Ko itna buland kiya that uh, Tech Mahindra was not re-questioned for its sanctity and it continued to build customer trust and confidence. So how did you make it happen? Well, first of all, I did nothing in that. I'm, I was I actually stayed back in the original Tech Mahindra to run the business. Mm -hmm. It was really, and then we every single day salute the leadership that uh, went over and took. But you're right, before we went and uh, took the company, it was that decision, that belief, that we don't know what we are getting into, how deep is the ditch, but to jump into it and then to figure it out was, it really took a lot of courage and conviction by our chairman, Anand Mahindra, our, our vice chairman at the time, Mr. Vineet Nayar, our CEO at the time, CP Gurnani, who is also the CEO now, by all of them. And, uh, and what they said is that, look, the Mahindra value, uh, value systems mm -hmm. will always come and stand with us right next to us mm -hmm. as we go do it. So that belief is what uh, made us successful. After that was the human spirit of entrepreneurship, one day at a time, one problem at a time, and rest, as they say, is a beautiful history. Hey everyone, we have Quentin Hardy, Head of Editorial at Google Cloud, right here with us at Tycon 2019. Yo India TV! How are you? <laughs> you got it right! Okay! So tell us a little more about Google Cloud and how is it coming out better than Amazon Cloud and Azure? <laughs> I admire my competitors, but here's how we're going to win. Uh -huh. Google came up understanding the internet, having to work at scale, having to innovate inside cloud computing. It invented many of the core technologies it built out, it services seven businesses with over a billion customers each, it stops 15 million uh, spam emails every minute, it handles security and scale and privacy like nobody else and it's taking those technologies and bringing them out to customers around the world with a network like nobody else has so that's how they're going to win so you know cloud migration is very common these days and almost every company in silicon valley is migrating to cloud mm -hmm. what are the main advantages that you think um, they are having and Silicon Valley is getting ahead better than others. Well, that reminds me of one more thing about Google. 
Our attitude is we bring the cloud to you and we've recently developed technologies that can bring cloud-like capabilities of flexibility and managing at scale and enforcing policies across many computers that people can use in their existing systems and then move up to the cloud when they want without tying them to any specific cloud service provider. We want people to have the maximum strength and capability and flexibility possible. And that's just the paradigm going forward. That changes how software gets done, that changes how VR becomes real, that strengthens AI, that has so many positive benefits. It's your final pitch to your potential customers. <laughs> we bring the cloud to you. Come speak with us and we'll show you how. Thank you so much. All the data says that if you have a more diverse workforce and if you put women on your boards and if you have women in your organizations, better decisions get made, um, it increases revenue and increases the impact of the, and, and makes the company a richer, more successful company. Hey everyone, we have Robert Chetwani, the Chief Marketing Officer of Atlassian, right here with us at Tycon 2019. Welcome Robert to Yo India TV with me, Justleen, and how is the experience this year at Tycon? Uh, it's been fantastic. You know, I uh, I was here at the Santa Clara Convention Center in May 1999, so 20 years ago, uh, when I was an entrepreneur starting my company, and it's really fun to be back. Awesome. So, as a chief marketing officer of Atlassian, one of the companies that is pioneer in Jira, you know, because Jira is now widely used across many companies right here in Silicon Valley, especially for bug tracking and project management. So, uh, what are the key products that you would like to pitch in? Well, look, I think um, we have uh, over a dozen products as a company. Jira is one of our flagship products, uh, Confluence, Trello, Bitbucket. Um, but if I step back, you know, why, why have these products played such a central role in uh, helping teams connect and collaborate? Uh, it's because in almost every company, every organization, uh, you, whether you're a startup or you're a large uh, a corporation or a government or a nonprofit, teamwork is getting increasingly complex. Collaboration needs more common shared systems of work. And that's really what Atlassian does is provide really the, the platform and capabilities to help teams work better together. And so we think um, it's a really powerful uh, uh, way to help unleash the potential of teams. We have BJ Arun right here with us, the president of Tycon 2019. Tyke is now the biggest organization that promotes entrepreneurship, especially among youngsters, right here in the heart of Silicon Valley. Welcome, BJ Arun, to Yo India TV with me, Justine. And how's the flow going on right here in Tycon? Thanks, Justine. I think the flow has been phenomenal. I mean, this is a fabulous organization. I've been a part of it for believe it or not, since the inception. So this is my 27th year you know, doing this. Started as a volunteer, I was in my late 20s. And now, you know, a few decades later, I head the organization. And so I think it's uh, it keeps going from strength to strength. Each passing year, it gets bigger and better. Um, I don't know if you had a chance to listen to some of our keynotes this morning. Just inspirational, outstanding effort by a group of volunteers who put together this massive conference. So I see more than 5,000 attendees this year. It's really big and huge, but not just entrepreneurs, existing entrepreneurs who are promoting their products or someone who wants to be a future entrepreneur, but also from established companies, you know, people in big positions like sure. Adobe, Google, um, Cisco and all are also here. So how do these people uh, benefit from time? and provide benefit, you know, vice versa, both ways. Sure. So, you know, you have entrepreneurs and then you also have what I call intrapreneurs, which is uh, people with an entrepreneurial bend of mind, but working in large corporations. So even if I'm working at an Adobe or a Microsoft or a Google, I could still have that entrepreneurial zeal, right? That I want to create something. And this is where I think, um, you know, that's why these large companies also come here. Uh, they are also, you know, seeking uh, sort of potential hires for their companies and so, you know, they're hoping to sort of tap into this base of people to do hiring as well. 
and they also want to give back to the ecosystem. So you know, a lot of these uh, you know large companies gener you know generously sponsor time because you know we keep the price of admission very minimal here. Conferences cost thousands of dollars. We probably charge a couple hundred bucks, and so it's thanks to the generosity of sponsors like them that we can make this happen. Awesome. What's your message to you, India TV viewers, this year? My message would be that there is no greater joy than being an entrepreneur. Now, I have been an entrepreneur for the last 25 years, and once you go down the path of entrepreneurship, there's no going back to working for a nine-to-five job anymore. This is so fulfilling in multiple aspects, right? I mean, you earn more money, and everybody loves entrepreneurs, right? I mean, they're like rock stars, so people really look up to you. So my message is that it's truly an exciting and rewarding journey. And if you have ideas or if you want to be an entrepreneur, don't just keep thinking about it. Just jump in and, you know, it is not an easy road, but it's very fulfilling and it's very rewarding. So I would tell your uh, audience to just go for it. Awesome. Thank you very much for your time. And this was really a good conversation. Hope all of you had great insights about Tycon. And in future, look forward to you joining us as well. Thank you so much. Thank you, Justine. All the best to your team. Hi, I'm BJ Arun. I'm the president of Thai Silicon Valley and watch me on Yo India TV. tries its best to tap more and more customers especially the next gen the younger generation because that's how they will survive in the coming years and Thai has also made a similar move let's learn a little more from two young men who are helping out in Thai's initiative of getting to young people and inspiring them to be entrepreneurs we have Krishna Vaturi who is heading data and analytics department in Adobe Systems and we have Chandra also right here with us. Welcome to Yo India TV with me Jasleen Khanuja. It's a beautiful Thai event going on. We have over 5,000 attendees this year. How are the vibes coming to you? It's awesome here to be here. Uh, most of all, uh, the, uh, the whole program has been designed around the latest and greatest technologies happening things around us like AI, ML and cybersecurity and so on and so forth which are some of the most critical things that are happening around us from a technological evangelization perspective. I'm super glad to be here. Most importantly, we're even more excited to talk about some of the uh, young entrepreneur programs that uh, Thai is hosting and uh, we're, we're privileged to be part of uh, the volunteering uh, community that really gives back uh, in whichever fashion we can to these young entrepreneurs who have these wonderful ideas and are looking for platforms. Uh, privileged to have uh, uh, Thai to have such a great set of volunteers and coaches who help these uh, young entrepreneurs not only to express their ideas in a, in a nicer platform, but also give them tools and technologies and all the mentor support that helps them evolve these ideas into real world products. Um, super excited to be here. Awesome. And we've been hearing a lot about Thai bootstrap camps. So talk a little more about it. Yeah, we have a Thai Young uh, Entrepreneur Summer Boot Camp, which we organized. Uh, we collaborated last year with uh, San Jose State University and uh, we brought a lot of young kids to go through a two, uh, two to four weeks and six weeks camps with the, with the program. And this year, we are also thinking about expanding this to many schools, middle schools, high schools, uh, and bring more, uh, more awareness about entrepreneurship into the kids. And we have a lot of uh, work going on and a lot of young, uh, young kids coming back and uh, helping us as volunteers this year. This is very exciting. So, since you are heading the data and analytics department in Adobe, what are the latest and the greatest trends in data analytics where Adobe is trying to be a major player? Yeah, Adobe is a great uh, player in the space of uh, digital media as well as digital marketing tools. And uh, one of the most fundamental uh, part of the product development these days is uh, most of the products uh, that are born fresh 
They bond with AML as one of the fundamental traits uh, through which they are expanding their uh, product strategies. What Adobe has done is adopting the AML strategy with both the hands and uh, make sure that every digital digital media and digital marketing product that we produce and as well as uh, every digital media and digital marketing product that we maintain and enhance has the key features of AML into it. Uh, so what we this we call this uh, we branded this platform called Adobe Sensei. Uh, it's part of every little workflow, every um, feature that we've rolled out. Wherein uh, some of the some of the important things that customer wants to do, it's simplified like three four x now than what it used to be in the past. Uh, so that's one uh, key thing that's happening. Apart from that, uh, no, blockchain is another uh, greatest technology that is supposed to un uh, unravel some of the huge opportunities for us in future. Uh, we we've, uh, we've invested on, on that front. Um, so the the whole concept of uh, the 3D visualization or the, the Google and Facebook's Oculus and, and all those uh, VR tools is another interesting space for us to expand uh, expand and take some of our creative products into those uh, areas as well. So these are the various ways that we're, exp we're expanding ourselves into future and, uh, and stay relevant for the millennial and uh, Gen X uh, uh, audience that we, we're going to acquire. You know, I meet, I meet these wonderful, wonderful entrepreneurs with wonderful technology from the Nordics and from New Zealand and from Korea and Japan and you know, I tell them, your problem is, you're too nice. <laughs> you know, and they think it's a compliment, but what I'm saying, <laughs> what I'm saying is there is this insanity of, I mean, and you look inside the culture of Silicon Valley companies, right? There's this myth. There is this myth that Silicon Valley startups, you know, entrepreneurs, they get together, they share this vision, and they all have this shared vision, and they, and they give each other back rubs and play ping pong and you know and they and they sing kumbaya and you know everything is right but you look at high performing teams and people yell at each other right i mean i didn't get this initially when i was an entrepreneur i thought it was about kumbaya you know but you know the secret of silicon valley one of the secrets of silicon valley that nobody talks about is what some people call creative conflict so people in Silicon Valley fight a lot. There's a lot of fighting. There's a lot of argument. I mean, I don't know if you, I'm, I'm not sure what your, all your companies are like, but in my experience, really good companies, people yell at each other a lot. I mean, sometimes they don't yell. They just argue intensely. Because you, you have these massive egos that all think they're right, but that's actually, a, that's the secret good. Hey everyone, we have Gal Reserve from Foldymate. He has just been announced as one of the prestigious Thai 50 winners at this TyCon 2019. Big congratulations from Yo India TV as well and it's a pleasure meeting you and learning more about your product that helps us to fold the laundry clothes through the use of robotics. So give us some more insights into the product first. Sure, first we're honored to be one of the winners, thank you. Uh, it's, it's a pleasure to, to be here in Thai and connect with uh, everyone. Um, essentially, we're going to save marriages, right? I mean, <laughs> we're making it easy to fold laundry and, and we, you could do it with our robotic folder in under five minutes. You could fold shirts, pants and towels mm -hmm. uh, from kids uh, size six up to extra extra large in under five minutes. Very, very simple, you kids can use it. Mm -hmm. and finally they can also participate in this household chore especially when you have young kids you know all this laundry is overwhelming us hi i'm gal from foldymate the founder and ceo of foldymate watch me on your india tv